It all began one lazy Sunday afternoon when my wife, Lisa, brought up the idea. We were lounging around, enjoying the rare quiet of our busy lives. The suggestion caught me off guard. Andy, have you ever thought about wearing stockings? She asked, a mischievous smile playing on her lips. I blinked at her, momentarily stunned. You know, just to see how it feels, she added, her tone light and playful. I was taken aback, it was such an unexpected question, something I had never even considered. I mean, I was a married man, and the idea of wearing stockings seemed absurd. But Lisa's eyes sparkled with curiosity, and maybe a hint of challenge, and I found myself nodding. Okay, I said, my voice uncertain, why not? Later that evening, she brought out a pair of sheer black stockings and suspenders. As I stood there, feeling awkward and out of place, Lisa helped me put them on. The sensation of the smooth fabric against my skin was strange yet oddly comfortable. I felt a flush of embarrassment heat my cheeks, but Lisa reassured me with a soft kiss. You look good, she whispered, her voice filled with genuine appreciation. Really, over the next few days, Lisa's enthusiasm became infectious. She convinced me to try on other items, high-waisted knickers, a silk camisole, and more stockings. Each time, my initial embarrassment faded a little more, replaced by a curious excitement. I couldn't deny the thrill of it, the way my reflection changed in the mirror, the way Lisa's eyes lit up when she saw me. One evening, Lisa came home with a package. I ordered something special for you, she said, her eyes dancing with excitement. Inside was a mastectomy bra and a set of straps. It's to help create a foundation garment, she explained, adjusting the bra on me, to keep everything in place. She adjusted the suspender belt, securing it with the straps, and I had to admit, the fit was much more comfortable. I could see the joy on her face, the pride she took in each small step of my transformation. As time went on, our intimacy deepened. Our lovemaking became more intense, more satisfying. Lisa seemed to take on a new role, one where she was in control, guiding me, leading me. I found myself enjoying her dominance, the way she took charge. It was liberating in a way I hadn't expected, to let go and follow her lead. Lisa's feminization of me didn't stop there. One day, she handed me a bottle of depilatory cream. For your chest, she said, her smile both loving and authoritative. I hesitated, but her gaze held mine, and I knew this was what she wanted. The cream was cool against my skin, and when I rinsed it off, my chest was smooth, hairless. The transformation was subtle but undeniable. A few days later, Lisa revealed a red dress she had bought for me. I think you'll look stunning in this, she said, holding it up against my body. The fabric was soft, flowing, and as I slipped it on, I felt a strange mix of vulnerability and empowerment. The dress clung to my newly smooth skin, accentuating the curves that were beginning to form. The culmination of my transformation came during a weekend trip we had planned. In the privacy of our hotel room, Lisa revealed the final touch, breast forms. With practiced hands, she helped me put them on, adjusting the straps and the bra. As I looked at myself in the mirror, I hardly recognized the reflection staring back. I saw a figure that was soft, feminine, womanly. Lisa stood behind me, her hands on my shoulders, her eyes meeting mine in the mirror. You look beautiful, Andy, she said softly, her voice filled with love. And in that moment, I believed her. I felt beautiful, in a way I never had before. As we stood there, the weight of what we were doing settled over me. I realized that this was more than just a game, more than just a way to spice up our love life. Lisa had awakened something in me, a potential I hadn't known existed. A desire to explore this new side of myself, to see how far we could go. I could sense Lisa's plans, her unspoken thoughts about the future. She wanted to continue this journey, to take me further into the world of femininity. And, surprisingly, I found myself wanting it too. The thrill of the unknown, the excitement of each new step, it was intoxicating. Our relationship was evolving, and so was I. With each passing day, I felt more comfortable in my new skin, more at ease with the changes Lisa was guiding me through. I knew this was only the beginning, that there were still many steps to take, many boundaries to cross. But with Lisa by my side, leading the way, I felt ready to explore whatever lay ahead. The days following that weekend trip felt like a whirlwind. My head spun with thoughts and emotions I hadn't expected. Every time I looked in the mirror, I saw the changes Lisa had brought about in me. They were subtle, but undeniable, the way my chest looked smoother, my legs hairless and encased in stockings, my face softer. 
Each time I slipped into the red dress Lisa had bought me, I felt a strange mix of fear and exhilaration. Lisa, for her part, seemed more confident and happy than ever. She was attentive, always finding new ways to encourage my transformation. Her eyes sparkled whenever she looked at me, a hint of pride in her gaze. I could feel her excitement, her passion for what we were doing, and it was infectious. One evening, as we sat on the couch, Lisa gently broached the subject I had been avoiding. Andy, she began, her voice soft, have you thought about where this is all going? I looked at her, my heart pounding. What do you mean? I asked, even though I knew exactly what she meant. She took my hand in hers, squeezing it gently. I mean, all these changes we're making, they're more than just for fun, aren't they? I see how you look at yourself now, how you enjoy the way you feel in those clothes. She paused, searching my face. Have you thought about becoming a woman? About us living as two wives? The question hung in the air between us, heavy with implication. I swallowed hard, my mind racing. I, I don't know, I admitted, my voice barely more than a whisper. It's a lot to take in. Lisa nodded, her expression understanding. I know it's a big step, Andy. And I don't want to push you into anything you're not ready for. But I see so much potential in you, so much beauty. I think you'd make an amazing woman. Her eyes locked onto mine, her gaze intense. And I'd love to be your wife, to explore this together. I felt a rush of conflicting emotions, fear, excitement, confusion. I had always thought of myself as a man, never questioned that part of my identity. But now, with Lisa's encouragement, I was starting to see things differently. The idea of living as a woman, of embracing this new identity, was both terrifying and exhilarating. Lisa leaned closer, her voice dropping to a whisper. We could start small, she suggested, her tone coaxing. Maybe see a specialist, talk about hormones. We don't have to make any decisions right away. Just explore the possibility. I took a deep breath, considering her words. The thought of taking hormones, of making permanent changes to my body, was daunting. But at the same time, the idea of fully embracing this new identity, of living as a woman with Lisa by my side, was incredibly appealing. What if I don't like it? I asked, voicing my biggest fear. What if I start and realize it's not what I want? Lisa's hand tightened on mine, her eyes filled with reassurance. Then we stop, she said simply. We take things at your pace, Andy. This is your journey, and I'm here to support you, no matter what you decide. Her words were comforting, a reminder that I wasn't alone in this. I had Lisa, my partner, my confidant, and now, potentially, my wife. The idea of us living as two wives, of sharing our lives in this new way, sent a thrill through me. It was a future I had never imagined, but one that was starting to feel right. Over the next few weeks, Lisa and I talked more about the possibilities. We researched online, read stories of others who had made similar journeys. The more I learned, the more I felt a pull towards this new identity. It wasn't just about the clothes, the makeup, or the way I looked. It was about feeling whole, feeling like I was finally becoming the person I was meant to be. Lisa was patient, never pushing too hard, always encouraging. She introduced me to new aspects of femininity, teaching me how to apply makeup, helping me choose clothes that flattered my figure. Each step felt like a revelation, a small victory in my journey towards self-discovery. One day, Lisa surprised me with a gift, a beautiful lace nightgown. I thought you might like to wear this to bed, she said, her voice shy, as if she were afraid of overstepping. I took the nightgown from her, running my fingers over the delicate fabric. It was soft, feminine, and I couldn't help but smile. Thank you, I said, my voice thick with emotion. I slipped into the nightgown that night, the fabric cool against my skin. As I lay in bed next to Lisa, I felt a sense of peace wash over me. This felt right, felt natural. I turned to Lisa, my heart full. I think I want to try, I whispered. I want to see where this can go. Lisa's face lit up with joy, her eyes shining with love. She leaned in, kissing me softly. We'll take it one step at a time, she promised, her voice filled with conviction. Together, from that moment on, everything changed. We made appointments with specialists, started discussing hormone therapy. Lisa was there every step of the way, her support unwavering. As my body began to change, so did my perception of myself. I started to see the woman I was becoming, to embrace the femininity that Lisa had helped me discover. Our relationship deepened, the bond between us growing stronger. 
Lisa became my wife in every sense of the word, our roles shifting, evolving. We explored our new dynamic, the balance of power, the way we loved each other. Our intimacy took on new dimensions, each touch, each kiss, a reaffirmation of our commitment to one another. As the months passed, I became more confident, more comfortable in my new skin. I started to go out dressed as a woman, Lisa by my side, her hand in mine. The world saw us as two women, two wives, and for the first time in my life, I felt truly seen, truly understood. Lisa and I talked about our future, about what lay ahead. We dreamed of a life together, as two wives, building a home, a life, filled with love and understanding. I knew there would be challenges, that not everyone would understand or accept us. But with Lisa by my side, I felt ready to face anything. One evening, as we sat on the porch, watching the sunset, Lisa turned to me, her eyes filled with love. I'm so proud of you, Andy, she said softly. Or should I say, Andrea? Her smile was teasing, her eyes warm. I laughed, the sound light and free. Andrea, I repeated, testing the name on my lips. It felt right, felt like a name I could grow into, a name that fit the person I was becoming. Thank you, Lisa, I said, my voice filled with gratitude. For everything, I couldn't have done this without you. She took my hand, her fingers intertwining with mine. We're in this together, she said simply. Always. As we sat there, watching the last rays of sunlight fade into the night, I felt a sense of peace, of contentment. I had found my place, my purpose, my true self. And I had Lisa, my wife, my partner, my love, by my side. The future was bright, filled with possibilities, and I was ready to embrace it, one step at a time.